Hi there, I'm Kath. Welcome to my channel Made by Kath Craft. Thank you so much for joining me today for another one of my five favourites vlogs. I've done a sort of series of vlogs over the last few months talking about my five favourite sewing patterns um, and I've covered things like my five favourite skirt sewing patterns, my five favourite sweatshirts and um, my five favourite jersey dress patterns for winter. And um, I thought it was time to do another one and I really wanted to talk about some summery patterns since we're starting to get some lovely weather here and I'm getting my summer clothes out. So I've already done um, one um, five favourites vlog for summer which is my five favourite woven dress patterns but I really wanted to talk about some of my other non-dress favourite patterns for summer because I've got some lovely other patterns I really enjoy wearing too. So I thought I'd combine them into this vlog and talk about five of my favourite patterns for summer and there's a bit of a range in there. I've got um, a play suit, a top, some shorts, a bit of a mix and I'm really looking forward to sharing them with you. So um, let's get started. Oh, I thought I'd mention before I get started, I'll put links down to all of my other five favourite um, sewing patterns vlogs down below, just in case you fancy checking any of those out. And by now let's get started on this vlog. Um, I thought I'd start with what I'm wearing today. And it's been beautiful weather here in the south of England. We've been really lucky the past couple of weeks. There's been lots of sunshine. And so I've had a chance to get my summer wardrobe out. And today I'm wearing um, one of my favourite dresses for summer. And it's this pattern here. It is the Penny Dress by Sew Over It London. And it's a really lovely sort of 1950s style tea dress. Um, it's got a flat collar, so it's quite a nice um, introduction to putting collars in because um, it's got the, got the collar stand. Um, and then it's got a sort of cinched in waist with elastic. It's got little sort of slightly off the shoulder um, um, shoulders. Uh, there aren't any sleeve pieces, it's just part of the top with a little bit of ruching. And then it's got a half circle skirt, so it's quite nice and swishy and it keeps it quite cool for summer. And I made my version um, in this, um, it's a cotton voil from Minerva with like a ditzy floral green print on. And um, it's kind of a little bit sheer, but I think because the skirt's quite full, when it sort of folds down, you can't really see um, through it too much. Um, but it's lovely and lightweight for summer. And it's not too sort of stiff and structured for quite a relaxed shirt dress. And I'll put a picture up of me wearing it so you can see. And I'll stand up so you can see the little ruching around the waist. And I've got little pink buttons added. And it was one of the first patterns I tried um, with a button placket and with a collar. And I found the instructions really good and it, the whole process went quite smoothly. Um, and I had to look, and I don't think Minerva's got this particular um, print of cotton voil in stock anymore. But I'll put a link to their cotton voils. They have got some lovely ditzy florals. And I haven't made a lot of things in cotton voil, but I do really like it because it's lovely and soft and light. I think it's a bit lighter and maybe a bit more sheer than a cotton lawn and a little bit less crisp. So it's really soft and floaty. So it's really comfy to wear. But that is the um, Sew Over It Penny Dress. Um, it's a lovely, really um, pretty one for summer, I think. But now let me start talking about my five of my favourite sewing patterns for summer. And the first one is a jumpsuit pattern. And before I started sewing, I didn't think I'd be a sort of jumpsuit girl. I wasn't sure that that sort of style was for me. But I think when I started sewing, it started opening my eyes up to trying new things because I wanted to try sewing different things and also just try and push myself out of my comfort zone with different styles of patterns. And I do really like wearing a jumpsuit these days. I find it a really comfy um, alternative to a dress. Um, so I thought I'd include, I've got two actually included in this vlog that I'm really looking forward to sharing. But the first one is, this one here, which is a Zadie jumpsuit by Paper Theory. And it's a jumpsuit for Waven fabrics. And it's got really some really nice features on it. The first thing I really like about it is it's a wrap um, jumpsuit. So it hasn't got any zips or button closures. It's all um, closed up by the um, belt, which gives a really nice shape. And it means it's quite a straightforward sew as well, um, if you don't fancy doing a buttonhole or a zip. But it's got some really lovely features. It's a sort of V-neck with this wrap around the front. And you can either do a sort of short sleeved grown on sleeve version or a sort of, this is a three quarter length sleeve version too. It's got some really nice pleats around the waist to give some shaping. It's got slash pockets, always good to have pockets. And then the jumpsuit version um, has a sort of wide leg, but you can also sort of chop it off to make it into a play suit version too, um, which is the option I've made. And yeah, it's a really nice sew actually. Um, really, some really enjoyable details. One of my favourite details is the bias binding around the neckline, which goes in really nicely. You have to kind of do it around the curve here, which is quite satisfying. And it's visible bias binding. So um, I think that's a really nice feature. And I've seen some versions saying stripes where it looks really lovely with the sort of stripes on the angle and adds a really nice detail around the um, top there. 
but yeah, it's a really nice pattern. And um, so it's designed for woven fabrics and I've seen some lovely versions in linens. Both my versions I've made in viscose linen. And I really like that combination because it has a bit of the sort of texture and the structure from linen, but then a bit of the drapiness and the softness from viscose. So I think it's quite nice for a jumpsuit. I think if I made it purely in viscose, I'd be worried about it being not hard wearing enough. Um, but with the linen added in, it feels a bit more tough and hard wearing. So I'll show you my versions. So I made my first version of the um, Zadie um, play suit in this beautiful um, floral viscose linen fabric, which I got from Minerva. And I had to look, and this fabric is still in stock, so I'll include a link down below. But it's really lovely. It's got kind of a blue background with lots of different types of flowers on. It's really pretty. And it is a really lovely texture. It's kind of soft and a bit um, sturdier than viscose, but it has got a bit of drape to it too. And so it's hard to kind of show up the jumpsuit because it kind of flops about, but it's got this wrap tie. And that means it's kind of um, quite um, relaxed on the fit as well, because you can kind of tie it a bit more loosely or a bit more tight. And it's got this lovely bias binding detail on the front. And I'll put a picture of me wearing it so you can see how it looks. And I made um, the size, I think I made the smallest size in this pattern, which is a size six. That does come up with measurements a bit smaller than mine. It's bust 31 and a half waist 24, hips 34, and I'm 32, 26, 36. But when I had to look at the finished garment measurements on the Zadie, it looked like they had lots of ease. The um, size six, again, the finished garment measurements are 37, 31, 42. And I didn't want it to be too baggy on me, so I thought that size would be okay. And it did come out just fine. There's plenty of room and it's comfy. And I didn't actually make any adjustments this pattern for me. Um, I read a lot about it and I, I, it seemed to be the general consensus online was that um, it, the, the body was quite long on this pattern and I often need to um, lengthen the body slightly because I've got a fairly long body but I didn't need to lengthen this one it sits really nicely on my natural waist so if you had maybe a shorter body you might guess want to consider shortening it slightly so it doesn't come up too low um, but it, it worked really well for me and I'm really happy with the fit so I just topped mine off to make it a um, play suit length but I do really like the idea of a jumpsuit version too I think that'd be really nice and relaxed and um, breezy for summer I think if I went for a jumpsuit version I might do it in a plain fabric maybe because um, I do like kind of fun fabric for a play suit but yeah maybe I'd go for kind of a plain fabric for a jumpsuit version but I'll show you my second version again in viscose linen and this viscose linen came from System in Tarka um, and I'll put details of all the websites I mentioned down below and it's, um, yeah, a bit of a different pattern. It's kind of this large scale sort of leaf type pattern. And it almost makes me think of kind of, of sort of tropical or sort of wild animals. I don't know, like a zebra because of the colours. Um, but yeah, it's um, really lovely. And another kind of, um, this has got a slightly more of a linen texture to this one. It's a bit less soft than the other fabric. And I had to look and this isn't in stock at System and Tarka anymore. But I think this one is available at Minerva in a range of colours. So I'll include a link down below as well if you're interested in this fabric. It's really nice and both of the fabrics are really nice to sew with. I find viscose linen so nice because it's still got the stability of linen just when you're sewing with it. And I'll put a picture up of this version as well. I made it fairly similar to the first version because I loved the first version so much I wanted another one. Um, and in terms of sizing on this pattern, it's got a really good size range. Um, let me just um, check it. So there's two size ranges. Um, I've got the um, 6 to 20 size range, but there's also a 16 to 28 size range. So there's um, yeah, a really size inclusive pattern. Um, and it's just, it just looks lovely in a pattern and a floral, in a print, but it looks lovely in a plain fabric too. So I think it's a really great all rounder and perfect um, for summer. That is the Zadie Jumpsuit by Paper Theory, my first of my um, five favourite sewing patterns for summer. Oh, and there are a couple of other points I wanted to mention about the Zadie jumpsuit pattern. Um, in terms of recommended fabrics, it recommends a medium weight woven fabric like a cotton or a linen. And I have seen some really lovely versions in linens, like I mentioned. But it also says you can make it in a drapier fabric like a viscose twill or a slightly heavier fabric like a lightweight denim, which I think would look really cool. And it also says it can be made in a knit fabric, but it would make it a bit more of a tricky sew, particularly around um, the binding on the neckline. Um, I think the pattern is designed for a confident beginner, so I guess if you wanted to make it a knit fabric, you maybe want to have a bit more experience under your belt. And the other thing that I really like about paper theory patterns is that when they design their cutting layout, they design it to make it with as few fabric scraps as possible. So they really think carefully about how it's all going to be laid out. And in the Zadie um, pattern, they've even split the back pattern piece into two pieces rather than cutting it on the fold, just to um, minimise the amount of fabric you do need and to reduce scraps, which I think is really great. So it really doesn't need a huge amount of fabric if you do follow their cutting layout. For my size, um, for the sleeveless garment, 
um, you need um, for a 150 centimetre wide um, piece of fabric, you only need um, less than two metres, which I think is um, really amazing. You can fit it into such a small amount of fabric. You need a bit more with the sleeves added on and if you've got a narrower fabric or a fabric with a particular um, pattern. But um, yeah, that's really nice how they kind of do try and squeeze as much into a small amount of fabric as possible, I think, with their patterns. But that is the Zadie um, Jumpsuit by Paper Theory. It's a really relaxed, um, comfy jumpsuit pattern to wear for summer. So my second favourite sewing pattern for summer is a real indie classic pattern. Um, so I thought I had to include it because Although it's quite a straightforward pattern, it has so much hacking potential and it's just got really versatile, I think, for summer. And it's this one here. It is the Ogden Cami by True Bias. So it's quite a basic pattern you get. Um, yeah, it's just quite um, a relaxed fit um, camisole top with a sort of deep V-neck at the front and the back and little sort of delicate straps. And it's got a little lining um, that covers the sort of top part of the top, um, which is quite nice, I think, and adds a really nice finish on the inside. But yeah, it's a really great pattern with so many different options. So I've made the basic um, camisole top, but what I really like about that is you can make it in kind of a plain fabric for real basic. Oh, it's designed for woven fabrics. I should mention that it's a woven pattern. So you can, I think you can make it in a really sort of plain um, fabric to go with, say, like a kind of brighter skirt, or you can make it in a really lovely bright print to go with a pair of jeans and for it to be the feature. And I've seen loads of amazing hacks of it too. Um, I've seen um, little hacks, like for example, the straps being hacked to turn them into sort of two straps with a little tie on top, which looks really pretty. Or I've seen it being lengthened to kind of make it into sort of like a nighttime sort of um and sort of nighttime sort of nighty and like a really nice drapey sort of a lightweight fabric. And then I've also seen some lovely hacks where you kind of crop it off short and add like a gathered tiered skirt to it to turn it into a really pretty summer dress. So although it's quite a basic pattern, I think there are loads of different options. Um, and it's got a good size range too. Um, it's available in two size ranges. One is size 0 to 18 and the other is in size 14 to 30. And the 14 to 30 range has a slight adjustment. Um, instead of really um, sort of narrow spaghetti straps, the straps are slightly wider. I think they're three quarters of an inch wide just to accommodate a bra, bra strap underneath. So yeah, that's really a um, handy idea, I think. So yeah, it's a good size range. Um, and it's suitable for lightweight fabrics like rayon. Um, and um, I've made two versions, which I'll show you. The first version I made was in this really beautiful um, Atelier Brunette viscose fabric. Um, I think it's called Moonstone. It's a viscose chalet. And I had to look online. I'm not sure how easy it is to get hold of the pink colour. Um, but there are some other colourways too. A really nice sort of ochre colourway. And a, I think a green and a navy blue. So there are those colourways available online if you have a look. But it's really lovely and silky and soft. And I made this quite early in my sewing journey and this fabric was quite expensive. So I thought the Ogden Cami was a great thing to make in it because it didn't require too much of it. So I thought if I do totally spoil it, at least I didn't hadn't bought too much of it. Because um, Ogden Cami is also a great scrap buster. I think for my size, it says you need 1.1 metres, but I only buy one metre and that seems to fit in fine. And I do lengthen it a bit. So there's a bit of wiggle room there. But yeah, it's really lovely, this beautiful um, pinky fabric. And I'll pop a picture up of me wearing it so you can see how it looks on my first version. And then I made one more version, again, the sort of plain, straightforward cami version, which is in this um, another kind of viscose chalet fabric. And I got this one from Minerva, but I had a look and I don't think they have it in stock anymore, unfortunately. But I really love the floral print on it with a black background. And again, it's got little straps in the V-neck. It's really pretty. Um, and I actually like this one worn on its own, but I also really like it layered over a black t-shirt. So it kind of works for more of the year too. And I'll put a picture of me wearing it layered so you can see how that looks too. I quite like it layered up. But yeah, really pretty. Um, it's designed for a confident beginner. There are some fiddly bits, particularly around um, the V-neck, getting that sort of nice sharp V and also inserting the straps. But it's a great one, yeah, for a confident beginner, I think. And what else to say about this pattern? Um, I made the size zero, um, which is um, designed for um, chest of 32, waist 26, hips 34. So that fits my waist and chest measurement. My hips are slightly wider, but I find it's a little bit loose, the top. So it, it does seem to skirt over my hips fine. I didn't need to grade out on that pattern. But that's the Ogden Cami by True Bias. Um, it's a great top for summer loads of different options you can wear it tucked in tucked out i just think it looks great and it's a great sort of basic summer top pattern to have in your pattern stash um great for stash busting too 
So my next favourite sewing pattern for summer is one that would actually go really well with the Ogden cami because it's another separate pattern and it's this pattern here which is the um, Flint um, shorts pattern by Megan Nielsen um, and it's a really lovely pattern. I do like Megan Nielsen patterns because I find them the style is really comfy and relaxed to wear but they always have some lovely little details that make them a bit sort of special or a bit pretty too. And the flint shorts um, trousers are no exception and I'll show you the line drawings. They are a high-waisted trouser and shorts pattern with this um, really interesting sort of crossover waist detail. So it's sort of secured at the side with an inside button and then you can either have a couple of visible buttons showing or a little tie closure which I think is really pretty. It's then got little tucks at the front and waist darts at the back to give a really nice shape moving from the waist to the hips and it's got slash pockets too so really practical and then either it goes into a sort of wide leg, wide leg cropped trouser version or a shorts pattern which is the one I've made. But it's a really nice one to sew and really um, nice to wear as well I always feel nice in my flint shorts. Um, you can see that the um, difficulty level is two out of five so I guess it's designed for a confident beginner. It's a really lovely pattern and it works well in lots of different fabrics too um, they recommend sort of um, light to medium weight fabrics and they say that the medium weight fabrics, say twill and linen and linen blends, will give a more structured look to the um, shorts or trousers. But you can also make them in a drapier fabric for kind of more of a loose, drapey, relaxed effect too. And um, and also another thing, good thing about the flint shorts is, and the Megan Nielsen patterns generally, is that Megan Nielsen has two size ranges. So the shorts are available in either the 0 to 20 size range or there's also the Megan Nielsen curve range which goes from 40 to 30, 14 to 30. So really inclusive um, size range for the flint shorts and a lot of Megan Nielsen patterns. And I'll show you the versions I've made. So I made two in different fabrics. Well, they're both viscose linens but they have different viscose linen percentages to give a bit of a different effect. So the first version I made is this black pair. Um, and I made the tie, a um, little tie waist, you can see the little tie detail which ties and it sort of opens up at the side and it's got a little button inside of the buttonhole here that's covered up by the tie just to sort of secure it nicely around the waist. And so this is my version um, in, this, in this black um, fabric and it is a viscose linen blend but it's a much higher linen content. I think it might have been 60% linen, 40% viscose. So it's quite sturdy and it does give quite a structured look to these shorts which I really like. And I find these shorts really versatile because I wear them in summer. I'll put up a picture of me wearing them in a sort of summer style with a Stevie top. And um, that's quite a nice relaxed outfit. But I've also worn them in winter with a pair of um, black tights underneath. And I quite like how they look for winter too. And because they are that kind of sturdier, sort of high linen content fabric, they're quite warm for winter too. So that was my first pair I made. And then I made another pair in another linen viscose blend, but with a much higher viscose content. I think this pair might be... 70% viscose, 30% linen or something. So it's much more drapey and loose. Um, and yeah, I made it this lovely red colour and I made the tie um, again. And um, yeah, so uh, this is my second pair. And they're much more summery pair. They're really um, sort of loose and breezy to wear and much more drapey on me. And I'll put a picture up so you can see those on me too. But it's a really lovely pattern to wear. I think the waist um, being high waisted, pulling in at the waist is really flattering. And um, but the fact that they're kind of not too tight because they kind of do sort of skirt over um, your hips means they're really comfy to wear too and nice and loose at the bottom. So yeah, I, it's a really lovely pattern that I really like. I made a size four, I think, um, which is waist 26, hips 36, which fits my measurements perfectly. And I did find they came up quite true to size, particularly around the waist. So they do fit nicely around the waist. They're really nice so as I said, I really um, like Megan Nielsen instructions and I'd love to make a pair of these. I've seen some beautiful um, floral linen fabrics around this year, like printed linen. And I really like the idea of making these in maybe a printed linen with a plain Ogden cami on top. I think that would look really nice too. And I've seen some lovely trouser versions as well. I think the trousers are great because you could wear them in a quite a relaxed manner or you could dress them up with a pair of heels too and I think that would look lovely as well. So yeah, that's the Megan Nielsen um, flint um, shorts and trousers. A really great shorts pattern on my top five. <laughs> my next favourite sewing pattern for summer is another play suit jumpsuit pattern. And I wanted to include it because it's quite different to the Zadie play suit I mentioned before. And it's another great alternative to a dress for summer and really comfy to wear. And it's this pattern here. It is the Sirocco um, jumpsuit and play suit by Deer and Doe. So this um, is designed for stretch fabrics, unlike the Zadie, which is designed for woven fabrics. And it comes in a play suit and jumpsuit version. And it's got some lovely details. It's a mock wrap um, jumpsuit, so it doesn't actually wrap around. It's just um, sewn in in a wrap style. 
It's got a neckband around the front, set in sleeves. It's got pockets and some nice um, little pleats at the front. And then it, you can either make it into a sort of short play suit, which is quite a fun um, little play suit, or you can make it into a jumpsuit, which has tapered legs. So I think the jumpsuit version actually can be really lovely for dressing up as well. I've seen some really lovely versions and beautiful um, floral fabrics with heels, which would be perfect for, I guess, a summer wedding or something. But the play suit version is really um, relaxed and casual, I think, and really comfy to wear because it's stretchy. And um, when I sewed this pattern up first, I thought it would um, be a bit of a complex make, but actually it's a surprisingly simple sew and it comes together really quickly. And it's got some really nice features like the pockets here, the slash pockets are um, finished with inside with a clear elastic to kind of hold them in place. So they don't go saggy, which I think is a really nice little detail. But the whole thing comes together really nicely and the neckband goes in really well. And I was worried it might gape a little bit, but actually um, it's designed with just the amount, right amount of stretch. So it sits really nice and flat. The one thing to mention with this pattern is you need quite stretchy fabric. Um, with, it says you need fabric with at least 60% stretch and they recommend medium weight jerseys like interlock, cotton rayon wool, containing elastic and it has to have good recovery. I guess otherwise it would sort of stretch out of shape. So I've made three versions of this pattern. I'll show you them. I made two play suits and one jumpsuit. So my first person, version I made, and they're all in cotton jersey actually, and actually I think these cotton jerseys, when I tried to give them the stretch test and see how stretchy they were, I think they were slightly below 60%, but they seemed to be fine, I seemed to be able to get in and out of it okay, and they are a nice quality cotton jersey, so they seem to um, have good recovery and have lasted well with me wearing them. But this is my first version, and I made it in this really pretty kind of, um, it's almost like a geometric floral print cotton jersey. And I bought it not knowing what to do with it. And then the Scirocco pattern came along and I thought that would be really fun in that pattern. And then because it's not too much of a, um, there's no kind of directional print to it too much. There wasn't any matching needed, which is quite good because there's quite a lot of different pieces and pleats and all sorts of things in this one. Um, but here it is. But I'll put a picture of me wearing it so you can see what it looks like on a little bit better. And in terms of sizing, just so you can see the fit, I spent a while reading up on this one because I knew I wanted it to be fitted enough so it didn't look too sort of baggy. But equally, I wanted to be able to get it on and off comfortably. And so I ended up um, grading between sizes. So I made a size 36 at the bust, graded out to a size 38 at the waist, and then back in at the hips, I think, um, because that seemed to suit my sizes. So I thought, because I read so much and I got really confused <laughs> from different people's opinions on how to go on it. So I thought in the end, right, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go with my measurements. I'm going to grade between sizes according to my exact measurements and I'll see how I get on. And it came out fine. So I was glad that it did come out fine. Um, I think the only thing I did do is I lengthened slightly the um, the shorts pieces just because I have um, got a longer body and I wanted the waist not to sit too low, but I didn't want it to be too tight around the crotch area. So I did lengthen the um, shorts pieces by an inch just to give me a little bit more room there. And I'm quite pleased I did because it definitely doesn't sit too low. Um, it, I think it sits about right now. But that's my first version. So my second version I made in another cotton jersey, another floral cotton jersey, but quite different from the first one. And I wanted to make a second one because I really enjoyed wearing the first one and I found it really comfy um, to wear. So I thought it'd be nice to have another one in my wardrobe. But this is the second one I made and it came from and the website Self Made, which used to be Stoff and Still, but they've changed their name recently, as I found out. And it's a kind of larger scale floral print with these cute little white spots as well in this navy. Um, and I had to spend quite a while um, considering um, the, the pattern placement with this one just to make sure I ended up with flowers in nice places so I'm pleased I spent a while placing the flowers to make sure they yeah I thought they were kind of even distribution and look nice and I'll put a picture of me wearing this one again and again it's just really comfy to wear and um, yeah just really relaxed for summer and then I also made one jumpsuit version because I thought it'd be really nice to have a um, slight one that's suitable for slightly cooler weather Say if we were on holiday and wanted to go to the beach, but it wasn't super warm, but I didn't want to wear jeans because once you get jeans a bit wet, I felt they, they never dry. <laughs> Whereas this cotton jersey dries out a bit nicer and a bit quicker and still nice and comfy to wear. So I made this version and this fabric came from the Maker's Merchant. It's like a black fabric with these little sort of um, sprinkles on, which I thought were quite cute. And um, so yeah, I made the full length version, so I've got the full length. But actually what I like to do um, when I wear this is I prefer to turn it up at the bottom to give it a more of a relaxed, casual vibe. So I usually roll the legs up a little bit and wear um, them with trainers and I'll pop a picture up of me um, styling it like that, like that if I can find one. I and mean, it's just quite a relaxed make then, I think. I think when you leave them unrolled, then they do look a bit more sort of... Um, formal <laughs> that's the word a bit more formal and lovely as I said for a wedding with a pair of heels or a smarter occasion but I do quite like the rolled up look just for a kind of relaxed day trip out and it's really comfy to wear 
The only thing is the um, going to the toilet aspect is a bit of a wiggle to get on and off. Um, but once I've kind of got used to that, um, and it is so stretchy, it is fairly easy to get on and off. Um, but that's the Scirocco um, play suit and jumpsuit by Deer and Doe. I think it's a really nice, um, relaxed summer pattern if you're looking for a sort of stretchy, comfy play suit. And it does sew up surprisingly quickly, I found. So my final favourite sewing pattern for summer is a swimwear pattern. And I thought I'd include it just in case you're interested in sewing your own swimwear and looking for a good place to start. Or if you like sewing your own swimwear already and um, are looking for a new pattern that I just think is a really good pattern. And it's funny actually, because when I started sewing, I never thought I'd sew my own swimwear. It just wasn't on my radar. I thought it'd be too tricky and um, too difficult to get hold of the right fabrics and all sorts. But I was looking a couple of years ago for swimwear in the shops and I found it really hard to find anything that was kind of looked pretty, but also quite practical to wear. So I thought I'd give it a go and actually I found it a lot um, easier than I expected. And I've now sewn um, three different swimwear patterns, but this is definitely my favourite one I've sewn so far. So I thought I'd share it. And it is the Vanessa Two Piece by Friday Pattern Company. So it's a bikini pattern and I'll show you the line drawings. It's um, designed it's for a lined bikini top and bottom and the pants are kind of fairly high waisted, just sit below, just below your belly button, but they're quite easy to adjust to make them higher or lower rise. And it's got, a, and again, a lined top with a lovely little tie front detail, which I think is really pretty. But they give a decent amount of coverage too, so it's not like a string bikini by any means. So I find them, it's a really comfy one to wear when I'm in the pool with my kids. Yeah, it's just a really great pattern. Um, so it's got a really inclusive size range as well. I've got the paper pattern, which goes from size small to extra, extra large. But there's also a PDF available, which goes up to four extra larges. So that's right, four XL. So yeah, it's really size inclusive. Um, and um, the largest size is bust 54, waist 47, hips and 57. So yeah, really inclusive. And it's just a really nice one to sew. And the instructions are so good. I definitely recommend it if you're looking to start sewing swimwear. Um, this is a great pattern. Also, if you're in a bit nervous about inserting the elastic, which I guess is one of the most um, fiddly parts of sewing swimwear, they have a great tutorial online, and I'll include a link down below to it, which I watched, and it really helps with um, how to insert the elastic. And I find the method they use, the Friday Pattern Company for the Vanessa, gives a really nice finish. I've used another method for sewing other um, swimwear and I found it can tend to stretch a little bit and leave a slightly wavy edge but the Vanessa has a lovely way of finishing it that just comes out and gives a really nice finish. In terms of sizing for the Vanessa I find it comes up really true to size so um, I picked for the top um, I made the extra small which was for bust 32 33 inches and that's about me and then for the bikini bottoms I made the small which is waist 26 27 hips 35 36 so again pretty much my measurements and I really like the fit of that and it doesn't need too much fabric either um, for extra small to medium sizes if you have um, a 54 inch wide fabric you need less than a meter and it does say you need to add a little bit extra if you want to make the lining for the bikini bottoms in the same fabric um, you'd add a bit more on but still it doesn't need a lot of fabric and I think I managed to squeeze it into less fabric than they said you need as well so that's a great thing about swimwear you don't need to buy a great deal of the fabric Oh, and the instructions are really good because they include a few extra little um, optional things. So, for example, they tell you in there how to go about adding foam cups if you want to add foam cups to the top. And they give you different options of finishing um, the bottom here if you want to add elastic. I didn't find I needed to add elastic, but if you do want to add elastic, they show you how to do that too. So it's a really great comprehensive pattern. I do find Friday Pattern Company patterns, the instructions are really great to follow. But let me show you my versions. So I really wanted to make the Vanessa in some beautiful swim fabric I got a couple of years ago for Christmas that I asked for, which is a Liberty swim fabric I got from Guthrie Garney. But I was really nervous about cutting into it. So I decided to make a twirl first, but I thought I made a wearable twirl. And I actually had um, this um, fabric um, left over from making another bikini, um, a different pattern. And again, because swimwear takes up so little fabric, I had quite a lot of it left more than I expected because I, the pattern pieces are so small. So I made my first version in this leftover fabric, which is a, it's a swimwear fabric and with this little sort of navy with these little white sort of leaves, leaves on it. So that's my first version, the top. And I didn't have quite enough for the lining and the waistband at the bottom, so I just got a small amount, maybe half a metre of plain blue swim fabric to go with it. So there's my bottoms here um, with a little waistband in blue and the inside lining in blue. And as you can see, the finish is just really nice around the um, elasticated um, Leg holes, really, it just comes out really nicely when you follow the instructions of this pattern. So they're my bottoms. So that's my first version. I'll put a picture up of me wearing that one. 
And then I made my actual version once I tried that one out and checked the fit and found it was all okay. In this really pretty um, fabric that I got from Guthrie Garni, a Liberty fabric with this floral design on. It's kind of like an orange um, colour with these lovely blue flowers and green leaves. I think it's really pretty. So that's my um, actual final version. It's got this lovely little tie detail at the front. And then here are my bikini bottoms. And again, because it doesn't need much fabric, I found I had enough to cut out the lining as well in the um, Liberty fabric, which is quite nice because I wasn't sure if I use a darker fabric like the navy blue, it might kind of show through when it got wet. So I thought it would be nice to keep it the same fabric. So they're my bottoms. And again, I'll put up a picture of me wearing that one too. But it's a really comfy, um, relaxed one to wear. But yeah, sewing somewhere really isn't as complicated as I thought it would be. And um, this is such a great pattern if you're looking to try your first um, swimwear pattern or if you're just looking to add a bit more um, handmade swimwear to your wardrobe as well. It's a really lovely one. I really recommend the Vanessa two-piece by Friday Pattern Company. And that is my final um, top five favourite sewing pattern for summer. Oh, and I thought I mentioned I have written a blog post talking in a bit more detail about this pattern, another um, bikini pattern I've sewn, the Megan Nielsen Cottesloe swimming um, swim bikini. So I'll put a link down below in case you fancy checking that out with a bit more information about sewing swimwear. But that is my final um, favourite sewing pattern for summer that isn't a dress. So it's been a bit of a mix, two um, play suits, shorts, a top and a bikini. And I hope you've enjoyed hearing all about those patterns. As ever, it was really hard choosing. So there are so many lovely sewing patterns this summer. And I'm looking forward to exploring some more this summer and sharing them with you in my future makes vlogs. But thank you so much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed the vlog. I've really enjoyed sharing all those patterns with you. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll see you again soon with another vlog. Thanks again for watching. Bye.